Right before this video starts, the owner is allowing me to give away a hero rank on the Outland servers. And if you guys want to enter the giveaway, first off, make sure you are using my IP, imake.archonhq.net, when you do join the server. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your IGN down below. I will see you guys in a What's going on guys? I'm AKMC Vince here and today we are back with another video and today we are on the Archon Outlands and this is start of the world. And today is the start of my how to rust or how to outland series. If you guys have never watched something like this on my channel, I do it on HGF, another game mode on Minecraft. And I pretty much explain how to play the game mode or I just play without a rank. And what I mean by that, if I'm normally playing outlands, if I do slash kits i normally have the predator rank so i'm able to do all of these kits but for this series i'm not allowed to do any kits except for the recruit rank kits because if you guys didn't know i have a code on the server and if you haven't used one before you can even get this rank right now it is a free rank all you have to do is go to the website type in i make mc vids and you can get a free recruit rank by using my code so let's go ahead and get started first off i'm gonna go ahead and do clan create and i'm gonna do my normal tko i'm actually surprised no one took that because the map has been out for a day and i'm a, I'm a little late because obviously i play hgf as well so i guess what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna play this like i normally would i'm gonna go get started on a base i'm gonna to try and show you guys how I would normally do it and let's go ahead and go up here click respawn let's get the map out and let's try and find a place to build a base also if you guys didn't know if I do slash beginner I cannot be killed for 226 minutes so I have enough time to start on my base and stuff like that this guy's donating to me and if you didn't know I'm not allowed to accept donations either that's another thing also something else that I just realized predator rank or partner rank gets slash bed um with recruit rank you don't so if I want to get back to my base, I'm going to have to run there or I'm going to have to die. So I'm going to have to get used to that. But as I'm looking for a place to build my base, I'm going to go ahead and do slash kit. I'm going to do the tools kit so I can get my stone tools. And then um, I might as well do my recruit daily because it doesn't really give you anything. Also, if you want to get more kits or a daily kit again, you want to get your insignia up because this is like the main thing if you have no rank this is like you don't have to pay for this obviously so i'm just gonna run around collecting resources trying to find a flat place to build my base and i just realized there's actually an 100 percent xp buff on right now so doing this is going to get us leveled up quite quickly and obviously i still realize i'm going to have some advantages because with my partner rank i do get to craft logs and stuff like instantly but to be fair that's not really a big thing i guess it is when you're raiding but like if i'm creating a base it's not really a huge issue because it's just going to make my videos come along faster so i hope that's not a big problem but i'm sure i'm going to get some comments about it but when you have advantages there's disadvantages i'm playing on my main account so we are probably going to get raided and i actually just realized something i'm not supposed to have slash craft so Let's go to make a crafting table and then we can place that down and that is how i'm supposed to craft i totally forgot so we already have 41 reinforced logs yo i'm not even kidding i'm gonna shadow play that uh i just died pretty much instantly to a wolf so i guess that means we're gonna be building a base in a different biome oh okay i just hit my first insignia so we're gonna go ahead and do level 20 insignia and then we get a mystery crate, but I don't think you get too good of stuff off of this. First off, you're gonna get a common crate or a loot crate. Loot crate's obviously better, uh, but it's a lot rarer to get. So we got a common, let's go ahead and open it. And the best thing you could probably get out of this is meds, coal, or iron. Or also sulfur, that works, but I, I, I got freaking chicken. And I guess a little bit of a quick tip, if you guys are gonna be leveling up your insignia a lot, make sure to do each kit because there is a one day cooldown, but if I get level 50 and after I've already done level 20, that means I'm gonna get a new kit. So you never wanna skip over kits. Also, another thing I need to show you guys, if you do slash XP, every time you rank up, you get five research points. I'm level 20, so I have 100. Normally, I add that to my duplicate ores when mining, or I do duplicate mob drops, but since we're getting started, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate ores while mining, and we are gonna be able to get that up to level 100, and that means you have a 6% chance of duplicating your ores while mining, which 6% isn't that high, but if you keep adding to it, it adds up. Wait a second. 
There's a TC right here. Oh, there's a logger. Holy crap. Oh my. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me do crafting table. Let me go over here. Let's do block tier two. And let's go pick up this guy's loot. Oh my lord. I literally just found a logger. Got soldier boots. He had a shotgun as well. Is that good? No, it's only a regular shotgun. We just got so much iron axe. I'll take that. This guy was actually pretty stacked. I mean, it's better than the stuff we have. Uh, what? I don't know how many reinforced logs I had on me, but that seems like the right amount. We just got a shotgun though. We didn't get any ammo off. Actually, we did. We got 30 shotgun bullets. Can I raid his base though? Nope, he has a timer on it for 700 minutes. This guy literally just logged out in the middle of nowhere. All right, I think I found a perfect spot to build my base. Now it's a little close to some other ones, but that one does have a wood door, so I should be able to raid that one quite easily. Uh, but I just like the position of this. I don't want to show you guys where I am, but I mean, if you play the server enough, you probably can figure that out very easily. So let me just go ahead and place my TC down and let's get started on building my base. I have 60 tier two blocks, so that's definitely not going to be enough. But I don't really know how I want to build my base this map. I normally do a small, compact base. And I'm probably going to do that again, honestly. Well, I've got my base pretty much outlined. All I have to do now is get some more chest and work on the walls. And I do need a door. And also, if you guys didn't know, for the first 12 hours after you place your cupboard down, you will not be able to be raided. So I'm just going to put all my stuff in this chest and I don't have to worry about it right now. Also, I just remembered I need to go to rewards and I need to claim all of my rewards. You get these from leveling up and stuff. So I get a bunch of recipes, iron axe, iron sword, um, bicycle. I'm never going to make one of those. I don't even know how. Loot crates. Let me go ahead and open both of these. Oh, we could get an iron pickaxe out of this. That would actually be really good. I get two of them as well, so I'll go ahead and open both of them and see what we get. Out of the first one, I get an MP5 recipe, and then out of the second one, we get an iron sword recipe, so that's a bunch of trash. Dude, I can't accept donations. So I've got a little bit more progress done on my base, and I went ahead and placed down an iron door. I was thinking about making a bed, but then I realized someone could just come over and break it, so I ended up not doing that. But I did come back to my base for a reason. I want to go ahead and do slash kit. I am going to do recruiter resources because you get that every six hours. It used to be two hours, but they changed it to six. So I want to do it as soon as possible. And then there's no other kits that I can do. Um, I can do beginner kit, but that's not going to give me anything I need. Insignia, I'm still not level 50. But when I do hit level 50, I will be able to get two gun crates. So that could be decent. Uh, but man, I'm really wishing I could do this predator kit right now. I just hit level 40, so that means I have 100 more research points, and also I got some more rewards, the wooden base recipe and iron pickaxe recipe, both of which will help me build my base. And also, let me go ahead and do slash XP, and let's level this up some more to level 40, uh, which will be spending 200 research points, and now we have a 12% chance of it happening. I have made my way over to a rad town. This map, they actually made the rad towns a lot larger than they used to be. So there's supposed to be more barrels and stuff like that, but I don't see any right now. Oh, this place is actually huge, and I actually just found some barrels. Okay, there's one right here. So let's go ahead and open this, see if we get anything good. We got an iron axe recipe, nothing crazy. There's another blue barrel over here. Are we going to get anything out of this? We got forest legging recipe, and we got a soldier helmet. That actually helps us out. Also, we got a forest chest plate. We're just upgrading our armor right now, I guess. I'm taking a lot of radiation, so I probably need to get out of here. Guys, we are on the grind. I just hit insignia level two. So that means I now have the next kit, and I can open two mystery crates, and I can also open two gun crates. I've also already got 30 more tier two blocks. So now we can open the common crates. Uh, I got a crossbow and a shotgun, so nothing really crazy there. I'll keep the shotgun, uh, throw out the crossbow. I never really use those anyways. And out of the loot crate, we went ahead and got a stone pick. So I'll go ahead and replace my other one and 25 uncooked sulfur. Yo, I don't know if this is just me, but... Oh, that's a mod. I was so confused. Yo, what is going on outside of my base? Why are these people fighting? That guy's on 4 HP. Yo, he's gonna die. I wish I could pick up the loot, but I have a beginner timer. 3 HP. What? Why are you not shooting him? Okay, I'm gonna just go back to working on my base. I've honestly got a lot of progress done. I've almost finished the roof, and I really need to get started on extending the base. But first, let me go ahead and do slash mailbox, rewards, and I should get two more rewards. Why is that so loud? What are these people doing? But I got a loot crate too. What does this give me? 
a bunch of recipe options. Wait, you could get a guardian shield out of this? Oh, that's a supply drop. And of course I get two wood doors. So with these last six tier two blocks, my entire base is finished. Well, at least the first wall is. So that means I can get started on the chest room and get started on placing my beds down, my furnaces, all that stuff. So a little bit of an update on what is going on. I went ahead and placed my bed down. Now I'm gonna work towards getting wood bases. I'm gonna need 20 wood bases and I think one stone base. And what that does is it extends your claim. So this wool will like go out, I think like three, four more blocks and I'll be able to extend my base. This guy just messaged me and asked me if I wanted to buy a guardian shield. And we were talking about it and he's asking for four stacks of iron. So I can definitely do that deal. And my base cannot be rated for like, I'd say 10 or nine more hours. So after that, if I place a guardian shield on it, I can pretty much not be rated for an entire day and I can get this video done. So I was about to trade Matthew and whenever I did it, um, I can't, I can't trade with beginner timer. So I'm, if I really want this guardian shield, I'm going to have to beginner enable. I only have 90 more minutes. I'm going to do it. We're disabling it. Now we can trade and I can be killed. So hopefully he trades me this. Please accept the trade. Four stacks of iron for one guardian shield. 12 hours of not being able to be raided. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. It was definitely worth it, that trade. Let's just hope we don't die now because I can be killed. I actually saw a base and I think it's this one. It was raided and there was a bunch of chests in it, but I couldn't open them because I had beginner timer. But now I can, so I can come over here and take the loot that people didn't want. And I don't really want the loot either, except for maybe that helmet. Uh, anything in the furnaces? Oh, there's a chest back here, nothing. There's like nothing in here. Wait, USP? Oh, I'll take that, rare USP. Anything in here? Nothing. Oh, another USP on common? I'm just taking all the loot that these people didn't want. Well, thank you. Wait a second. Did someone break the wood door off of this base? They actually did. Oh, there's leather in here. I'll take that. I totally forgot there was a wood door here. I should have broke that myself. Why didn't I do that? I just broke his bed. Uh, raid the base. Oh, someone already did that. Oh, yeah, I just got a small supply drop. I was literally talking with Cappin. I'm Cappin if you guys know him from HGF because he plays on here. And I was opening a barrel and I just got a random small supply drop. So I'm going to run over here and open that. I saw a guy inside the rad town, so I probably could have killed him real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and open the small supply drop. And then I got a large med kit as well. Iron axe recipe. I'll click that. Uh, we actually got some all right stuff from there. I don't want to keep all this trash armor though. Forest boots. Let's see what we get out of this because I have got homemades out of this. I have got C4 out of this. You can get some pretty good stuff, but also you can get trash. Oh, oh, we got a, oh my Lord. We got a fuse and a C4. I'm running back to my base right now. That is the luckiest I have ever got on a small supply drop. I better make it back to my base. I've got a C4 before, but also getting a fuse, you need a fuse to craft a C4. So pretty much I just got two C4 from one supply drop. So I've been talking with Cappy and Zach, obviously my friends on the server, they wanted to give me a donation, but you know, I had to tell them no. But they are currently protecting me while I mine this. And I actually didn't even know this was a thing. So if you guys have played the server for a while, they normally have a farm in an oil rig. They got rid of the farm and beside oil rig, there's now a farm and there's like a mining station. I, I don't even know. There's titanium and iron and I'm mining it right now. I am getting so many ores and I don't really know what the rules are about allies because if you're a solo, you can have teammates, but I'm living alone, obviously, but I want an ally. So I don't know how this is going to work. I don't really plan on raiding with them or anything, but PVP, I might fight with them. I'm not sure. Well, I'm running back to my base now and I pretty much showed off where I live by uh, recording that last clip, but I got so much iron and so much titanium from mining around here. I'm definitely going to come back. I just hope I don't die. I went ahead and stored all that iron and stuff, but I'm running back to my base now and I have some good news. We can finally extend our base. All I have to do is get these wood bases and then let me go ahead and do uh, this real quick. I need to make a stone base and let's do slash erase. And now I should be able to extend the base to level two. 
and then level three is 65 wood bases and eight stone bases that is that's gonna be difficult but now since my base is larger i can work on making more walls and i was right about it going out four blocks i'm currently still just working on getting wood bases i'm working on getting tier two blocks making some chests and stuff wow i don't even have enough wood for another chest but i also just got some more rewards for leveling up so i can now make homemade explosives so if i see a base that i want to raid that's tier one i might raid it uh I was literally killing a wolf and I just looked over and someone died. Uh, okay. Well, I have an iron sword to kill, uh, animals now. And obviously I need leather for homemades and stuff like that. Le leather and sulfur. And I think that's it actually, because that makes explosives. And then you need explosive and you need sulfur to make homemades. But we just got a rare USP, a pretty trash set. We got some iron tools and an iron sword. So, I mean, free loot. What? Are you kidding me? I was gonna raid this base, but I didn't have enough leather for a uh, homemade and someone already raided it. So I might as well take the loot. I guess I should give you guys a little bit of an update on what I'm doing. I'm currently just running around getting ore piles, mining wood, killing animals so I can get leather. And I'm trying to hit level 100. And then after I hit level 100, I am gonna go try and find a base that we can raid with homemades. Hopefully that guy does not see me. But I think this video has turned out well so far. I'm obviously going to still be recording a little bit more, but it's coming to an end very, very soon. The first episode of How to Rust, and I just hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I hope you have learned something if you didn't know how to play the game mode. Um, a lot of people build tier one bases. I completely just disregard that. I never really make tier one blocks. So I guess that's like a little suggestion or that might be something you guys haven't seen before. Um, I normally just go straight for tier two, as you guys saw whenever I was building my base. So maybe that's like a little tip you guys could have took away from this video. Not really sure. I just hope it helped you guys in a little bit of some way. And there we go. I just hit level 100. So I get my new insignia kit, but also if I do slash mailbox, I can get a small supply drop. And then also let's do slash XP so I can level this up to level 100. So let's go ahead and drop down the small supply drop. And then if I do slash kits, I have level three insignia and I get a recipe crate. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna do that when I get back to my base. Hopefully there's no one around me while I open this small supply drop. Can we get another C4? If we get back to back C4s in a small supply drop, that might be the rarest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's open it. We didn't get C4, but we actually got two explosive, a large med kit, a chest, and some tier two blocks, which will end up helping us. Two explosive, that's really good as well. So we're back at the base. Let me go ahead and do slash kit. And then let's do insignia level three. Let's open this recipe crate. We have three recipes that we are gonna be able to get. Hopefully it is something good. We need a C4 recipe. We already have the homemade recipe. Uh, what can we get? Glass recipe, barricade recipe, and forest boots recipe. Okay, well, I mean the glass may be good if I wanna like make my base look nice. Other than that, nothing that crazy. Houston, we have a problem. I just realized I don't have the explosive recipe, so I can't make homemades. So I guess that's some bad news, and I have even more bad news. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. But the good news is, in my next video, I should have the explosive recipe, or at least I'm gonna try to get it. And the other good news is, I'm gonna go off camera, work on my base, do some grinding, and I will come back in the next episode. And hopefully this base will be a little bit better. If it's not better, it's gonna be raided because I, I have to protect it. I do have a guardian shield, but that's only for 12 hours. So I'll see you guys right back here next week on Wednesday. Every Wednesday I post Outlands videos if you didn't know, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.